Today we will talk about Node.js project structures. I will show you two structures, two types, uh, two ways how you can structure your Node.js projects and the benefits of one over the other. Let's begin. This is the first project that we will talk about. Uh, just to give you some context, this is built using Express.js. Let's open up in this in the web editor. So this is built using uh, Express.js and uh, yeah. Uh, if you look at this particular project, usually you have a source folder and inside it I have an index.ts file which is our entry, entry file for, a, for our Node.js project and uh, the other folders contain our application codes. If you look at the folder namings, let me just zoom in a bit, you will see that we have structured this project based on the type of the file. So all of the controller files goes under this controllers directory. All of the service files goes under this service services directory. So this is kind of a file type based structure, right? We group all of the related files, all of the same type of files inside a single folder. So this is one approach that you can take. And uh, if you search in GitHub for boilerplate projects, you will see most of the boilerplates usually use this particular folder structure, right? But in reality, uh, it's, it's a bit different. Let's try to see another project. So this project was built using Nest.js, uh, but that doesn't matter uh, whether you are using Express.js or Nest.js because the idea is same. The idea is how you group your files. You will see in this particular uh, project we have our source file source folder inside that our entry file this main.ts file and inside these domains we have grouped all of our user related files into a single folder so user service user controller response repositories everything related to user lives under the user folder so this is kind of a domain driven folder structure something like that or feature driven right so all of the products all, all of the files related to user lives under the same directory let's see you have another feature called products you have all of the files related to products under another directory so this is the second way or second approach that you can take to structure your node.js project now which one is better in my humble opinion this one is better and this is the one that you should use you should always try to group related files together it's easier to navigate it's easier to understand it's it's scalable and it has many other benefits right so why uh, this folder structure exists then uh, because uh, most of the boilerplate projects is used using this structure I have created this boilerplate as well that you can check out I'll link it in the description uh, I have also used this particular folder structure the reason is in a boilerplate project I want to demonstrate how different type of files are behaving right <coughs> so you can see at a glance that okay I need to go to the repositories to see the repositories I need to go to the middlewares to go see the middlewares, right? That's the idea behind this type of folder structure. And uh, this type of folder structure can help you in some scenarios. So let's say you want to create a small project and uh, you want to demonstrate your skills to some recruiter or employer. You are doing an assignment project or small pet project. In those scenarios, you can adopt this folder structure. But if you think of creating a large application, a professional level application that will be worked on by many developers, then this folder structure will be very, very hard to work with. Why? Let's say I want to create a new route for creating a product. Okay, I have a database and I create the products. First, I have to create a service called product service and I have to go to the route folder, create a product route. Under the request folder, create product request then a repository so i have to open up each and every folder in this project to get a single api which is very very problematic and if you have if your project has gone larger let's say you have now 20 features and now you have 20 files under each of the folders which is unmanageable okay so that's why <coughs> if your project is small use this kind of uh, what do you say file type based structuring but if your pro project is large if you have three to five uh, at least three to five features 
you should group all your files together like this uh, domain driven approach okay uh, yeah mm, that's about it i will link both of these repositories in the description if you want to check those out and uh, yeah have a great day and let me know if you have any other opinion uh, there can be some other ways to structure a project as well but in my experience i have seen these two to be the most common ones so that's why i discussed uh, these two in this video hope you learned something new today have a great day